Hey guys, Josiah here from Swim Indicators at thinkorswim.net. Um, I wanted to take a minute to go over a indicator that I've been working on uh, the past week or so here. Uh, it's actually a complete package of uh, different Think scripts for Thinkorswim. And um, I've, I found this project pretty interesting, so I wanted to go ahead and share it. I finally got it all together here so I can post it on the website. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a video and, um, and walk you through it. Um, basically, the idea is that this is a mean reversion strategy um, using the VWAP and uh, uh, looking at it in terms of standard deviations around the VWAP. Um, and so with the indicator, uh, this is what powers the whole strategy. Um, you see here that we have essentially an oscillator uh, that shows uh, it can show overbought and oversold conditions and divergences, uh, like a lot of oscillators do. And um, but the unique thing is that it's it's working on the standard deviations or the z-score uh, around the VWAP. So uh, you can see here that it's it's pretty interesting that you'll have a oversold condition develop, and the indicator highlights yellow whenever that starts to develop and it will post a, an alert up here in the messages and you might hear that in the background here during the video but so I'll have these messages pop up in my alerts telling me that um, you know we have an uh, overbought or an oversold condition happening so you can you know in this situation you would buy the oversold uh, condition as it gets down here outside the two two to over 2.5 probably up to three or more down here standard deviations away from uh, the VWAP and then you can hold as it retraces back and you can use whichever ones of uh, uh, these lines that you want as your target you can use you know this is one standard deviation below VWAP the gray line in the center here is the VWAP and then one standard deviation above the, the VWAP you could use that as a good target for some of these setups or you can even hold all the way, you know, if you wanted to, to the, you know, next, um, you know, extension in the other direction, uh, over 2.0 standard deviations from uh, up from the VWAP. So uh, there's lots of different ways you can implement this strategy. And the good thing is that I've created a actual strategy script where you can try some of those different settings on whatever symbols that you uh, you actually like to trade and see what settings work the best for you on those particular symbols because you know some symbols are going to perform a lot better than others uh, some types of stocks will probably perform better than others some uh, you know uh, you might, uh, right now I'm using the e-mini uh, I, I trade the e-mini a lot and um, so it's going to perform better or worse depending on what type of symbol you have um, but you know, I, I think it's a statistically sound way to trade, and it, so and it makes a lot of sense. So uh, and it's just it's kind of really simple to understand, and I really like strategies that um, that don't you know try to complicate things too much. So and this is something that I think fits the bill for that. So anyway, you buy buy an over uh, sold condition, hold to uh, uh, you know reversion to the mean, either to the the mean itself or even on the other side of the mean. Uh, one standard deviation out and you can see here that that could have been a really good trade wherever you tended to buy it um, you could have bought it once here once here as well uh, and, and it reverted straight back up to the mean and then some and eventually it made it back up to over two standard deviations in the opposite direction as well and so you know not every trade is going to do that um, you just have to to test and, and see which uh, symbols perform and behave or, or have tendencies in certain directions. You know, if, do they, you know, after a two standard deviation move in one direction, do they tend to go one standard deviation in the other direction or just revert to the mean or do they go two in the opposite direction or what, you know, whatever they do. So you just have to do those tests yourself, develop your statistics, export the uh, results to, to something like Excel or something like that. Um, and figure out what works for uh, for you and uh, then you can implement this kind of strategy in your trading uh, so buys you can use any of these as targets 
sell short, use any of these as targets, buy, and you can see, you know, it's pretty reliable here that, you know, there's always a, uh, there always tends to be a reversion to the mean of some sort. And so I, I really like this strategy because of that. So I have the indicator here that oscillates back and forth between overbought and oversold. Um, and you can set these levels. I'll go up here to the um, options here and show you what properties you can change. So we have the length of the uh, the average, we have the different levels that you can set. Um, the 2.0 is where this green begins, uh, or, or actually the upper, uh, the upper bottom there would be the bottom line uh, of this red, and the 2.5 would be the top line of this red. So this, this red ranges from 2.0 standard deviations to 2.5 standard deviations, and the same thing down on the negative side. Um, you got 2.0 and then 2.5. And so you can change those levels to whatever you want. You can change them to three or, or whatever you're looking to, to trade out. You can also cap the spikes. So you might have a situation like this right here where the stock gets way out of whack uh, away from the, because we have a squeeze here, so the standard deviations are very small, and then it gets really uh, way outside of that very quickly. And so this would have been a spike way up out of the range here, and it would have squeezed all this down and made the graph hard to look at. So you can cap the spikes at a certain um, multiplier of the uh, standard deviation above um, uh, above the uh, the limit that you set up here, and that will just keep everything looking smooth and everything for you. You can turn on and off your alerts here. Uh, like I said, there's alerts that will pop up for you if you want, but you can disable them there, uh, the overbought and the oversold. You can change any of the colors, the highlight color that it changes to when uh, you have an overbought or oversold condition, and any of the other colors or plot uh, styles and everything. So that's the indicator. Um, the scan, or excuse me, the strategy, um, you can change the target that you want to use whether it's the mean itself, the VWAP in the middle, or the upper and lower targets, um, which would be the one standard deviation lines. Um, you can choose whether or not you want to do long only, short only, or both, and test, uh, test different uh, scenarios that way to see if you know, maybe long only is, uh, uh, performs a lot better than short on your particular symbols or something like that. You can choose to use a percentage stop or not, and, um, and then set the percentage there as well. And uh, you can, again, adjust those standard deviation numbers as well. So there's that. And in addition to the indicator and the strategy file, we also have um, a uh, stock hacker scan that we've developed here. And this will find stocks that are above 2.0 standard deviations in one way or the other, either overbought or oversold. And so you can run this scan, and yeah, as it, <laughs> uh, you'll see here that I, I've also developed a column, a watch list column. You can use it on the sidebar, um, on market watch, on any list of stocks you want to evaluate what, how far they are from the BWAP. Um, you can sort it or, you know, and bring the uh, oversold to the top or the overbought to the top. And so what it does is, you can see better on the, other, on the sidebar here, the light uh, bright colors show you the ones that are two standard deviations um, uh, outside of the, uh, away from the VWAP. The dark colors are between one and two standard deviations out and the default color just goes to anything that's less than one standard deviation. So you can ignore those or whatever you want to do with them. But so you can use this on any list of stocks and it will show you how far relatively they are um, uh, away from the VWAP. And, uh, and there was one of the alerts there popping up telling me that uh, there was a, uh, uh, a uh, overbought or oversold condition that just developed. So, um, so this scan will find those setups for you. I just have some basic uh, 
other filters put in here for price. You can change the price parameters. Um, I have an average vo daily volume parameter set in here that I always like to keep on my scans. So this, you know, weeds out the penny stocks and things like that. Um, so I can just look at, you know, kind of your bread and butter stocks. And then, uh, but you know, you can delete these two filters here or adjust them in any way that you like. And then this line here is the one that actually finds the, um, uh, the stocks that are two standard deviations away from the VWAP or more. And then you can sort them here in the watch list column. And I, I have it set up where I can click these. Uh, I have this other column here set where it sends it to my red chart. So I'll click these and it will automatically send that symbol to my, uh, my chart so I can go ahead and evaluate it. Or you can add the scan results like this to um, dynamic sidebar. Uh, watch list and so this will update with scan results every about every three minutes is when it refreshes so as you can see some of these uh, results are a little out of date they've they've turned dark and just like a few of these have because this one uh, the stocks have moved since I ran the scan and so they've reverted back in a little bit from the 2.0 standard deviation um, and so same thing here so when this refreshes this should all be or you know at the time it actually does the scan, it should all be bright colors. And so that will, um, will show you only two standard deviation uh, uh, stocks that are two standard deviations away from the VWAP. So that's what it is. Uh, with this, you, like I said, get the scan, the watch list column, and uh, the indicator itself, um, and the strategy um, file as well. And uh, anyway, that, that's how it all works. If you um, have any questions about it, leave me a comment below um, or get on our website, thinkorswim.net, and you can send me an email there. Uh, leave us a comment on the site as well. Be sure to subscribe if this video is interesting to you, if, if you like any of our other videos, and uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks.